to another edition of Maryland Missing and the Murdered. I am Kara Stone and this week we will have the case of the Joppa Town Cannibal. This case will have some disturbing details so if you're sensitive to that sort of thing I recommend that you skip this episode. In 2012 Cujo Agayi Cody was attending Morgan State University in Baltimore, Maryland on a student visa from Ghana. At the university, he met Professor Anthony Kinua. Cujo's student visa had been revoked, and while he was awaiting deportation, he was staying with Professor Anthony Kinua and his family in Joppa Town, Maryland. The family consisted of Anthony, his wife, and two sons, Jared and Alexander. The Kinua were native to Nairobi and immigrated to the United States when Jared and Alexander were children. Alexander also attended Morgan State University as an engineering student. He had a dormitory apartment at Morgan State. On December 10, 2011, an ROTC instructor witnessed Alexander Kinua punch a wall. The instructor reported to campus police that Kinua had self-inflicted scars and that he was, quote, Virginia Tech waiting to happen, end quote. On January 31st, 2012, Alexander Kinua attended an anti-hazing forum at college and ranted about human sacrifices. He also began posting on Facebook crazy rants, one which can be seen here. Another posting stated that he believed that reptilian aliens were coming to destroy Earth. On May 4th, 2012, a campus maintenance employee told campus police that Alexander Kinua threw a rock at an apartment window. It was reported that he was upset about something being put in his drink at a party. Two hours later, a resident advisor tried to issue a citation to Alexander Kinua for the broken window, but he would refuse to sign it and he went into his room. The resident advisor then called the emergency line, saying that he was afraid of Kinua because he was known to carry a machete. Campus officers searched Kinua in his room, but did not find the machete. On May 19, 2012, in the dormitory, Alexander Kinua committed an unprovoked attack on his friend Joshua Caesar. Kinua took a baseball bat wrapped in chains and barbed wire and bludgeoned Caesar over the head. Kinua was, was standing over Caesar with a knife in hand while other friends pushed him away. Unfortunately, Joshua Caesar was partially blinded in that attack. Kinua was subsequently arrested for attempted second degree murder, two accounts of assault, and use of a deadly weapon. Bail was set at $200,000. His bail was posted on May 23rd, 2012. Three days later, on May 26, 2012, Cujo Agayi Cody, who was staying with the Kinuas, was reported missing by Anthony Kinua. On May 31st, 2012, the Harford County deputies responded to the Kinua residence after being called by Anthony Kinua. According to Mr. Kinua, his son Jared had gone to the basement's laundry room where he saw a blanket on top of, a, of an aluminum serving dish. Jared had opened the serving dish and saw a head and two human hands. Jared confronted his brother Alexander, who denied that the remains were human. 
Jared went to the main floor of the residence and told his father, Anthony, what he had seen. At that point, Anthony called the sheriff's department. When deputies responded, they arrived to find family members surrounded by an aluminum serving dish on the floor, which had pine saw in it. The alleged hand and head were gone from the dish. Alexander Kinua told the deputies that his brother was mistaken and that what he saw was a dead fox that he had caught and tried to cook. A search warrant was issued for the Kinua home and the deputies discovered the head and hands of Kujo Agei Cody. Alexander Kinua was taken into custody and questioned by the deputies. Alexander Kinua confessed that he had killed Mr. Cody while he was sleeping with an axe. He also told him that he had eaten Mr. Cody's heart and parts of his brain. Alexander Kinua then directed the deputies to the location of the remainder of Mr. Cody's body. Deputies were dispatched to the dumpster at the Town Baptist Church where Mr. Cody's arms, torso, and legs were recovered. Alexander Kinua was charged with first-degree murder and assault. He was then transferred to Clifton T. Perkins for a competency evaluation. Clifton T. Perkins is Maryland's maximum security forensic psychiatric hospital in Jessup, Maryland. Anyone charged with a crime with suspected mental issues are admitted there. On August 13, 2013, prosecutors received a letter from the Perkins Hospital declaring Mr. Alexander Kinua incompetent to stand trial. The judge found him not criminally responsible due to paranoid schizophrenia and severe psychosis. The judge ruled that Alexander Kinua will remain at Clifton T. Perkins Hospital indefinitely. I hope you enjoyed this week's case. Sources for this story are listed here. Music is by Silent Vengeance. If you would like to get in touch with me, please email me at marylandsmissing at gmail.com. I hope you have a great week, and I will see you again next week.